the 50th anniversary symposium on the, the semiconductor lasers. It's going to be a lot of fun. The idea of the, uh, for the symposium is to cover uh, not just the, the history, but also some of the key uh, applications and, and the development working towards things like telecommunications and so forth, uh, as well as uh, looking into uh, the future. You know, quantum cascade lasers have been around for several years, have, 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 have VIXELs on their you know, tremendously important these days and uh, moving into uh, the nano laser regime. Uh, what can you do with that and uh, you know how small and, and how high performance can you can you make these devices. So it's it should be uh, quite quite exciting. We start off with uh, Herb Cromer, uh, Nobel Prize winner and uh, all around giant in, in the field um, and then uh, We'll have Russ Dupuy from Georgia Tech who will give uh, an overview of uh, the materials development, which was so instrumental uh, for the semiconductor laser, followed by um, uh, a couple of giants from Bell Labs, Mort Panish, uh, who demonstrate, he'll talk about the first demonstration of the uh, room temperature CW laser, semiconductor laser, as well as uh, Charles Henry, uh, also from Bell Labs, who will talk about the uh, initial uh, impetus towards moving into the nanoscale, the first quantum well lasers and, and so forth. Uh, and then uh, uh, Amnon Yariv, Tom Koch, and uh, Don Cyphers will talk about high speed lasers, distributed feedback lasers, so all the engines of telecommunications uh, that, that we have today, high power lasers and, and so forth. Uh, and then uh, Jack Jewell will talk about uh, VIXELs, uh, Dave Welsh on photonic integrated circuits, which is uh, uh, really gaining in, in commercial uh, deployment these days. Uh, Professor Arakawa will talk about uh, Indy Marcinide quantum dots, uh, which is uh, obviously very, very important. Jerome Faist uh, will talk about quantum cascade lasers. And uh, Ming Wu uh, will be our final speaker from uh, Berkeley, who uh, we'll talk about nano lasers and, and you know the future of just how small we can make semiconductor lasers, things like that. So it should be very exciting.